different when it's got water in it. It's beautiful. Unbelievable. So you might have noticed in my last few videos, maybe three or four videos, I've had a secondhand roof rack on. It doesn't matter that it's a secondhand roof rack, it just matters how well it was made in the first place. And mine's like a really expensive quality European made roof rack. You are fake news. Okay. Where was it made? It comes from China. Okay, I've been outed. I've got a cheap second-hand Chinese roof rack on the Challenger. The thing is, the Challenger is a 2013 model. It's not brand new. And the rack I wanted, which was a Roller Titan Mark II, would have been 650, 660 bucks, something like that. Plus, I would have for sure spent another three or four hundred dollars on accessories, so it would have been a, over a grand. Uh, this way, I got out of it very cheaply, so. We'll just see how it goes. see wrong is missing a couple of bolts, nuts and bolts, and these have got surface rust, so the rest of it's not too bad. For the refurb, I removed all the steel parts, which were the two cross braces and four brackets. I wire brushed the surface rust off, then sprayed them with Rust-Oleum. So I'm going to add a little bit of extra bracing in with a bit of channel from uh, Bunnings. I just put one at each end, like that, and I put one on the other end. You've already got these steel bits sort of reinforcing it, but I'll put, because we're going off-road, I'll put these in as well. One each end, and then I'll mess around with these brackets, which are on that sort of a T-bolt thing. So these are the original brackets, which were, this is the bottom of the roof rack. So they were like that, I imagine, onto the old style crossbars, which have been the square ones. So what I'm thinking about doing is, because the challenge is quite narrow, is putting them this way around, upside down, and then running a T-bolt up through there into my bars, with this sort of located wherever the bars are, obviously. So today, all I have up on the roof racks are a pair of recovery tracks, but I'm thinking about a solar panel. Generally, you tend to put items on top that you don't want in the cabin. Firewood, fuel, wet canvas, swags, tents, rubbish bags, a porta potty maybe. But with the right accessories, there are many items you could store on the roof. On the plus side, a secondhand roof rack's cheaper and it does the job. The negatives are, you can't choose the exact style of platform to fit your vehicle. 
and the older rack it won't have all those useful tracks that take T-bolts. And there are some functional and great looking mounts available for shovels, high lift jacks, LPG bottles, max tracks etc. So you miss out on those, but you can have a bit of fun in the shared fabricating stuff. I've already done these five trips with the roof rack fitted and it's holding up so far. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.